Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm back today with a new layout for the 20 days of full autumn cut files by uh, Paige Evans using her Bengalo Lane collection. I started by cutting the exclusive hexagon brace cut file from a white cardstock with my silhouette cameo. Then I filled the pattern with several pieces of paper from the great pattern paper from the 12 by 12 paper pad Bangalore Lane collection. I also add tracing paper under the nut so that I can glue yellow pattern paper on it with 3D foam. In the meantime, I trace the outlines of hexagon rays on the photo, then I cut out the photo and then I glue it inside hexagon rays. Once the photo is glued, I add some leaves on the wrist with 3D foam. So I alternate with different leaves that I cut out of a pattern paper from the 12 by 12 paper pad uh, Bengalo Lane collection too. You can find this cut file in the online store on Page Evans blog. The link is in the description. Here is the result a little closer. I saw the outlines of the photo with gold thread. I love the volume that uh, the leaves provide. So I add cardboard below this hexagon to add volume when glued. I put this aside and coat a white cardstock with clear gesso to add the inks. And I trace the outline of the hexagon so as not to protrude too much with the inks. I can now add the inks. So I use Lindy's Magical Inks. I start with the ink, uh, grab a guy gold, which I apply with the help of a piece of red oil here and there in a random fashion. I rectify the area with a red brush and I add again the same ink.
I then add the ink canalily burnt orange on top of it at random as well and I add the water to make the ink flow and so that they mix and thus create different shapes. I dry the first time to fix the colors and I create the area and I intensify the colors in the same way as before. When the colors and the area suit me, I dry everything and I add splash of ink in turn and turn. I dry everything well and with a gesso and a stamp with a hexagonal pattern, I stamp the pattern all over the area to make a little reminder with the cut file and to bring light. I then glue the photo on the area and add more leaves under the cut file. I love all of those colorful leaves.
I then add uh, make happiness like uh, to the center of the cut file. And I finished the back room by making a small area in the upper left corner with the same inks and with the same pattern stamped with gesso. With a few leaves, I made a cluster of leaves that I add in the corner and I also add an epoxy stickers hertz and puffy stickers hertz on it. I then add a little gesso with a brush on the leaves to bring light. I love this effect. I splashed diluted gesso with a little water here and there to harmonize everything. And finally, I add Jules Essential Orange by Pink Fresh Studio here and there in groups of three. I love the shiny and the precious side that it brings.
and hurry the result a little closer. I hope this layout has inspired you for a future project. I love adding a large photo with this exclusive cut file and love creating this background in full colors. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I wish you a beautiful creative day. See you soon.